Hi, my name is James Orme and I'm from Smart IoT London and today I'm going to be interviewing Martin Atkinson. Martin is the Managing Director at Forcam, which is an innovative company specialising in the industrial IoT for the manufacturing sector. So Martin, if you could just begin by telling me what makes IoT, the Internet of Things, such a game changer for the manufacturing industry. Thank you, James. I think it's fair to say that the industrial Internet of Things has the potential to be a game changer for manufacturing. That being said, manufacturing companies uh, are at the very early stages of adopting the industrial Internet of Things and truly understanding what it means to their business in terms of helping them to run their factories smarter. Machines uh, in a production environment do not operate uh, in isolation. They do not operate standalone. They, they function in an end-to-end -end process. And um, they have inputs and outputs. And so the industrial internet of things, in terms of adoption, is at the very early stage. Uh, it's in its infancy. Mm. So, as you say, it's still a little bit immature, but nevertheless, you're doing a lot of work in this space. So, what work exactly are Forcam doing to help end users in this space? So, Forcam doesn't just um, provide plugins and connections to these machines. It provides data that is organised in a way that means something to a manufacturing company. Data that focuses on um, machine availability throughput, quality, cost of manufacture and waste. In addition, it also provides an IoT platform which makes data available in the right context to other applications. So applications such as big data, analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence. This data provides one version of the truth and there can only ever be one version of the truth. So when you've achieved this data availability and contextual data and this single pane of truth, as it were, what is the actual tangible effect on the bottom line for end users in this space? Okay, so, so anybody who's worked in a, a manufacturing continuous improvement environment will understand the value of um, taking a non-optimized process and optimizing that process. The challenge really is being able to apply it across the complete process, sustaining the change and continuing to improve. Having an IoT platform that provides contextualized data in a manufacturing environment to a number of applications, as I say, machine learning, analytics, artificial intelligence, self-learning, and being able to accelerate and automate this means that any improvements that you make at a local level can be very quickly and easily scaled to the enterprise level. The impact of this is what we call digital transformation in manufacturing. Now, you describe your platform as smart. Now, we hear a lot of companies describing their platforms and their services in this way. And what is it exactly about Forecamp's platform that makes it smart? So there are three um, aspects that make the Forecam platform smart. Number one, it's the machine plugins, the ability to connect to machines. Number two, it's the ability to provide data that is organized in a way that's meaningful to a manufacturing company. And number three is what we call the bridge API, which serves up the data in the right format for other applications within a manufacturing environment to use. So we've talked a lot about data and APIs and application integrations, basically about technology so far, but would you say that technology is the silver bullet to success in this area? In short, James, no, it's not the silver bullet. Um, our experience collaborating with a range of manufacturing customers would confirm to us that technology is simply an enabler. Before you become smarter as a manufacturing company, it's really important to understand your stakeholder value drivers. These are the financial levers that are important to any business. They would include return on capital invested, turnover, 
operating margin, asset efficiency, and financial metrics associated with sustainability. Once you understand those drivers, you can then build um, a data-driven model of your manufacturing environment. You can undertake a life cycle approach to um, improving um, those financial value drivers. And from that, you can build a, a delivery methodology that will enable you to apply the industrial internet of things successfully within your environment. Many people ask the technology question, mm. and our belief is that if you believe that transformation is a technology question, then I'm afraid that you're wrong. Um, transformation is really about multiple business programs. It's about behaviors. Those are the aspects that lead transformation Technology simply enables the transformation in progress. Mm. And what are the risks if companies neglect those other aspects or if they emphasize too much on the, on the technology, let's say? So um, technology, which is not aligned to business drivers, um, would just be a waste of resource, time, effort and money. Digital transformation in manufacturing is, it's complex, it's not easy. So it's important that you don't boil the ocean, that you don't try to eat the elephant in one bite. So you need to break down your transformation strategy into small, achievable deliverables. And now, you mentioned before about the importance of a methodology. Now we all know how important it is to have a framework in place before you embark on such a substantial transformation of this kind. but some companies are a bit lost about this. They don't know where to begin. They might feel like it's too complicated an endeavor. How difficult actually is it to create an effective methodology? It is challenging, um, but choosing the right partner would help you address that challenge with more confidence. The challenge is born through the fact that manufacturing is complex and there are lots and lots of moving parts. So if you think about a typical manufacturing environment, you would have business drivers, you would have operations, you would have IT, you would have operational technology, you would have control and automation, you would have um, uh, quality. All these functions need to be part of your transformation program. And so it's important to break down the silos that these functions typically operate within to be successful in transformation. So stepping back just for a second and looking at the bigger picture, what would you say is the ultimate goal of digital transformation in the manufacturing sector? So thank you for asking the question, James. Monetization is the reason manufacturers want to transform. Running your factory smarter means that you have to understand the financial levers that drive your business. You have to move those levers to an extent to make it worthwhile. You also need to be able to deliver against some very challenging customer service levels. To make more money, you need to ease pressure on your returns, you need to um, ease pressure on your margins and you need to free up cash. You also need to be a good citizen. Be a good citizen by reducing the amount of energy that you consume manufacturing the products that you make. Also, slow and low productivity is an inhibitor to growth. It's an inhibitor to making money. So to address slow and low productivity one would need to create a, a data-driven model of your manufacturing environment. One would need to translate that model into a, a, a delivery methodology tied to your stakeholder value drivers. Group that together with your business programs. 
work with the right partner, and you can achieve your digital transformation goals and objectives. So achieving digital transformation, it's a combination of understanding your financial value drivers and understanding how to deploy technology in a smart way. So from the forecamp perspective, our technology delivers value in four areas. It delivers value around advanced shop floor manufacturing. It delivers value around digital manufacturing, demand driven supply chain and advanced process optimization. Okay, so in summary, how would you summarize the key lessons to be learnt from your experiences in this sector and the digital transformation journeys in the manufacturing industry? To answer your question, James, a clear lesson that we've learned is that you have to have executives on board. Executives carry significant weight. They must be on board to help overcome the barriers that will need to be passed when you're undergoing a transformational program. Think big, divide the elephant into small bite-sized chunks. Don't try and boil the ocean. Be ambitious and bold with your goals and objectives. Maybe appoint a digital transformation officer at board level to overcome the aforementioned barriers. Create the business case, focus on your customer service levels, understand what it is your customer expects from you, so work back from the customer side. Choose the right partner, deploy the technology, revalidate the business case, and keep engaged. This is a continuous process, it's not a one-off process. So that would be my summary of the key lessons learned based upon the collaboration we've had with our customers and the successes that we've driven with our customers. So thank you, James. Thank you, Martin. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. So if you're a bold and smart and ambitious company in the manufacturing sector who are embarking on their digital transformation journeys, check out Forcam, who will be exhibiting at this year's Smart IoT London.